we're going to show you how to make a Presbyterian. Then we're going to show you how to make a bitter Presbyterian. Then we're going to show you how to make a twisted bitter Presbyterian. So, step one to making the Presbyterian is admit that you're thirsty. I'm thirsty. Man, I'm thirsty. Step two. Find clean rocks tumbler. I've got mine here. Clean tumbler. Step three. Add four ice cubes. Don't touch my eyes. Three, four. Two, three, four, four. Step four. Open your favorite ginger ale. Typically works a little better if you pre-refrigerate the ginger ale to avoid melting your ice. Step five, pour three to four jiggers of ginger ale. One, two, two. I'm gonna stop at three. I'll do one more. Four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Okay, now we're on to step number six. Actually, I was supposed to introduce step six. We did step five. Go ahead. Pour one jigger of Old Grandad bourbon or any other favorite bourbon selection. Typically the rule is you can use bourbon or whiskey. Bourbon is made in Kentucky, whiskey outside of Kentucky. One that was, jigger. That was a weak jigger. I'm a little guy. One jigger of old granddad bonded Kentucky bourbon. So now we're on to step number seven, which is enjoy your Presbyterian. I'm going to stir mine first. That's how you make a Presbyterian. Delicious. Step number eight. Add blood orange bitters to taste. Now you want to just measure this by eyeballing it. You just did a little dollop. That's all you really need. Couple drops is all you need. Whoa! Because you want the orange flavor but Mine not did necessarily too much. as much of the bitter. So now, enjoy your bitter, Presbyterian. <coughs> Delicious. Very orangey. Step number 10, cut lemon twist. Take your time. Go at an angle. Go at a diagonal. I'm trying. Keep going. This is the tricky part. Keep going. 
Mine's a little large. I think that's good for me. I've got my lemon peel. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and twist it up a little bit. It's a rather large one. I'm left-handed, so this could take me a little bit longer. Sometimes they rip. This is something you'll have to do at home. Practice quite a bit. I've got two lemon peels now because mine is in half. You as well aren't very good at cutting lemon peels. No, I'm not. Gently wrap twist. the lemon twist around your finger to get a full twist. Now, step number 11. Enjoy your twisted bitter Presbyterian. Very citrusy with undertones of vanilla, leather, tobacco from the old granddad bourbon. Little orange, of course, from your blood orange and your lemon. Lastly, step number 12, clink glasses with a good friend. And enjoy. I thought you were driving. <laughs>